Hey friends, I'm Pastor Jack Mantrick, a pastor at Century United Methodist Church right here in Waterford, Michigan. This week we've been uh, sharing a series of devotions out of the book of uh, Philemon, talking about uh, Labor Day and finding meaning beyond our jobs, uh, which is really what Labor Day was all about. Uh, uh, laborers wanted uh, a reasonable work week so that they could foster their other relationships to their families uh, in uh, pursuing other interests. Uh, it may surprise us that uh, the, the eight-hour day and the 40-hour work week did not come uh, to be as we know it today until 1940. Uh, the Labor Day uh, event that uh, began this whole uh search to find a, a balance in the work life of, of Americans uh, started in 1882, I believe it was. And uh, we just want to um, recognize that we are more than the jobs we do. And uh, our self-worth is tied a lot to our work. I talked a little bit about that yesterday. But today I'd like us to consider our self-worth in terms of our service to God and to Jesus the Christ. I want you to think about that for just a moment. I would wager that if you think about your worth to God and uh, through Jesus, then you're thinking about uh, what you've done in the context of a church. But once again, our lives are much more than that. Uh, uh, we are called to be parents. We are called to be faithful children. We're called to be uh, well, one of the new callings that my wife and I have enjoyed for the last five years is that we are grandparents. I love being Papa to my three grandsons. Uh, you know, don't limit yourself when you're thinking about uh, God's call upon your life to just the work that you are doing in a church context. We are called to live our lives, to be followers of Christ out in the world. And we take that calling into the world, understanding that whenever we build up the life of another, whenever we help a, another person or, or, or are kind to a stranger, we are doing God's work in the world. So what do you do in the world that builds up other people? What do you do in the world that helps uh, your fellow uh, human beings? What do you do that enables uh, others to learn about our loving creator God? What do you do that instills hope in others? How trusted are you to provide information about your faith and the importance of discipleship, that is, actively following uh, Christ's uh, work in the world? The possibilities are endless, and the blessings that you can provide others make a huge impact in the world. One of the last things I wanted to do as I was called to ministry was be a pastor. I was, I was at Michigan State wanting to be a uh, a doctor. I wanted to study medicine there. And uh, before I took my first exam, I knew that God was tugging at my heartstrings. And uh, as uh, my pastor of my youth, all through my high school years and my college years, my pastor kept saying, Jack, you need to be a pastor. You need to be a pastor. You need to be a pastor. And uh, so uh, by that first Thanksgiving, after I went away in September to go to uh, school, by Thanksgiving, I was talking to my pastor about what does it mean to be a to be a pastor to explore that call of God on, upon my life, and uh, I've followed that uh, calling, and I have been blessed beyond my wildest imaginations. I've been blessed with a great family, uh, great children, not perfect, but great, <laughs> and they they they're all involved in the life of the church in some way. And uh, that, that's very fulfilling to me as a parent. And now my grandchildren are growing up in the faith um, in, in their church context. So friends, our calling is not limited to just the work of the church. We're called to the work of life and uh, life that is a blessing and life that is to be lived in abundancy. I hope that's helpful for you. Uh, the calling of God is not reserved just for clergy types like myself. The calling of God is for everyone. Look for that call. Meditate upon it. Read your scriptures. Let others speak to you about uh, what it means to be called uh, to God's work in the world. 
think about these things, maybe jot down some ideas. I want to invite you to church this next Sunday. We meet in person at 1030. And uh, we that service is also streamed on Facebook. Uh, or you can uh, reach that streaming platform uh, through our uh, email, uh, waterfordcumc.org. Have a great weekend. Be blessed. I hope to see you in worship. Let's pray. Gracious God, we thank you for the self-worth that we can experience beyond our work lives. We ask that you give to us a sense of calling for all that you uh, have called us to be and do in the world. May we know that we are following your wishes, doing your will, and glorifying you. We ask for your blessing. In the name of Christ our Lord, amen. Have a great weekend. God bless.